from the beginning. Hello, Wallstone here. I'd like to welcome you to our next video looking at the latest and greatest movies to hit the screens. Today we'll be looking at the five most anticipated sci-fi, horror and thriller movies coming to Netflix this year. Let's jump right in. At number five we have Apostle. Now we don't have a huge amount of information on this film and there isn't even a trailer, but there are a few reasons why I'm excited. The first is Gareth Evans. Hailing from the explosive Indonesian action film The Raid and The Raid 2, director Gareth Evans brings us Apostle, a Netflix original film set in 1905 about a man who attempts to rescue his sister from a religious cult. I'm also just really excited for this because the plot is a cool premise. This supported by the fact that we have passengers Michael Sheen and Beauty and the Beast's Dan Stevens makes for a promising film. The release date for this is at some point in 2018. Do you know what it is to make your dreams come true, Leo? I've seen you working downstairs. You're a good man. This barman should not punch the fucking customers. At number four, we have Mute. Mute represents the bounce back for director Duncan Jones. He started with The Moon and continued with Source Code and recently finished with Warcraft, The Beginning. None of us are perfect, obviously. This is a sci-fi, noir-esque mystery film set in futuristic Berlin, where our muted main character, played by Alexander Skarsgård, you've got to love a Skarsgård, obviously, search for his missing girlfriend in the city's underbelly. With Jones's two out of three directing heritage, a stoic Skarsgård, and a lively Paul Rudd, this is definitely one to look out for. The release date for this is February 23rd. And number three, I've chosen Hold the Dark. So you want more Skarsgård? Well, luckily for you, Alexander is back with Hold the Dark. Director Jeremy Saunier of the Fantastic Green Room brings us the story of the deaths of three children suspected to be killed by wolves. Writer Russell Kaur, played by Westworld's Jeffrey Wright, is hired by the parents of the missing six-year-old boy to track down and locate their son in the Alaskan wilderness. This has a desolate, snowy thriller vibe written all over it. The release date for this is penciled for June 2018. At number two, we have Cargo. From the producer of The Babadook, Christina Caton, Cargo has been dubbed the zombie tearjerker. It was born from the short film of the same name from writer-directors Yolanda Romke and Ben Howling. This is a non-traditional spin on the zombie subgenre with a non-traditional lead in Martin Freeman. And I'm positive it's gonna be an interesting combination to watch. Although Wormwood was a completely different tone, I'm particularly looking forward to another zombie film set in the wild Australian backdrop. The release date for this is going to be October 2018. Something's come through the fence. Through the fence? Finally, number one on my list, and this won't be a surprise for anyone who knows the films I'm into, is Annihilation. This is a film I am the most nervous about, but also the most excited. From the writer Alex Garland of 28 Days and Ex Machina comes Annihilation. This film portrays a mysterious, expanding environmental disaster zone known as the Shimmer. A squad of soldiers are sent in and only one comes out. Cue the brilliant Oscar Isaacs. A team of scientists, including biologist Natalie Portman, are sent in to investigate the mysterious phenomenon. Adapted from Jeff Vandermeer's first book in the Southern Reach trilogy, this has the possibility to be an incredible movie. Both Cloverfield Paradox and Annihilation were sold by Paramount to Netflix, and after a mediocre Paradox release, I was a little concerned about what we should expect. But critics have rallied around this film, and initial screenings are looking good. And with a writer like Alex Garland, surely this has to be a winner. The release date for this film is March 2018. So there you have it, there's my top five Netflix original films from sci-fi, horror and thriller to look out for this year. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like, and if you feel like it, maybe give me a subscribe too. Until next time.